Hello, and welcome back to the Bay of Sins. So, for the last two weeks I have basically not streamed anything, so that was good. Uh, in those two weeks I have been learning about quest making, that's been good fun. Uh, and now I've got some quests made, and uh, a majority that haven't been made. So, uh, you know. Rather, rather logically, let's go and jump in at uh, Katarina's third quest. If you don't remember who Katarina is, I don't blame you. It's been a while. She is uh, our our bartender slash brothel owner. Where's she? This is her. I don't know why I'm opening this up. I think, I think my explanation summed it up well enough. There we go. I'm not zooming in. Let's, yeah, we're done. Ugh. So, in our first quest, um, what we have happening is uh, she has been expecting a shipment of uh, alcohol to sell to various people so that they can drown their sorrows, and uh, that shipment has not arrived on time. So, uh, she has dispatched the player to go and find out what's happening there, and, uh, I mean, you know, let's have a look. Many, many of these. I did one of those uh, things in the quest where... Um, Gives you a route to follow instead of instead of the uh, the uh, pointing out directly where the thing you're looking for is. That took much longer than I expected it would, and I'm probably not going to do it again. Anyway, when you finally come to the caravan, you find that it is being uh, attacked by uh, police officers from the bay. And um, despite what I'm sure you're thinking, looking at these objectives, you don't actually have to kill Victor. Uh, Victor is the leader of these police officers, and uh, let's take a look at the dialogue going on. So, uh, when you come upon these ruffians, shall we call them, uh, you speak to them and get a variety of options. Um, to sum it up quickly, you can either kill them and go back, you can not kill them and then go back, because uh, all you've been asked to do is find out whether or not, well, to find out what's happened to the caravan. Uh, and coming upon it, finding it a smoking wreckage with uh, various people uh, standing around it, chortling to themselves, you can assume that they have uh, killed the people leading the caravan and uh, stolen Katarina's shipment. So uh, you can just come back and tell her that, or through various speech checks, you can uh, convince the police officers to take it back themselves. Um, so doing that will give different amounts of caps. Uh, you get more if you can convince them to take it back themselves. Um, oh, I forgot about the, the best option, which is that uh, you can ask them for a cut of uh, Katarina's shipment, and they'll give you 300 caps, I think. And uh, then you go back to Katarina and tell, them that, and tell her that raiders are attacked and stole the shipment. Uh, which later on will get you in trouble with Katarina. Anyway, for the second quest, um, Katarina. Jesus Christ, look at this. <laughs> anyway, for the second quest, uh, Katarina is informed by somebody that their son has run off uh, into the wastes, and uh, you are tasked with retrieving him, um, because Katarina sort of acts as like a, a community head, and uh, people trust her rather than the police, who are just oppressive and awful. Um, and, uh, you know, you go out into the wastes, and you talk to this, this boy, and you can bring him back, uh, you can kill him, because that's always an option. You can kill him and take his stuff. He's stolen some things from home to fund his wasteland adventures. So you can kill him and take some of his stuff. Uh, or you can convince him to go back, or you can actually just leave him there. Uh, which is the least profitable option. Uh, Katarina won't pay you, you just leave him there. <laughs> but there we go. Those are, those are the quests that I've got done. This one's empty. I do have a plan for it, but I'm not going to go into that just now. Um, the second quest currently is bug dull to hell, but uh, I don't think bug fixing would make for a particularly good stream, so uh, I will be fixing those off stream. Uh, and instead, we will blunder on and make uh, the third quest for Katarina. Esther 3. Uh, this is where, you know, I should type in the name for the quest. I don't know what I want to call it. Uh, I'll call it something, I promise. I don't know why this is initially ticked, that seems odd to me. Um, now I think what I want for this... I don't have a very uh, 
solar damage in mind. Um, but I think what I want to do for this quest is have the player go in and clear someone, someone, uh, somewhere out. Um, I think perhaps uh, people have moved into some sort of distillery or something, and uh, as a result, people who were giving Katarina alcohol or selling Katarina alcohol now cannot. And uh, you are tasked with going in and uh, killing these people who have moved into this distillery, something like that. Something along those lines. Um, I, also, I also want to put it in Diamond City, which doesn't have a distillery in it, but you know, it's fine. It'll be like a, like a basement distillery. They'll make moonshine down there. It'll be a special on the menu. Anyway, um, so let's see. Uh, so this is after the player's returned. What should our first quest stage be? probably going to be, um, like all first quest stages, it's going to be go to where you need to go. So, uh, to... I th I'm warming to the idea of some sort of basement distillery, which doesn't make sense for people moving in. Um, I think we'll just make our own location. That'll probably be fine. <laughs> sure, yeah, okay. Maybe it'll be like a little camp and they'll have like a, an outside distillery and raiders will be there. That sounds fun. Watch as I can't spell distillery. Nice. An A instead. Oops. I, A, distill. Dear God. In my defense, this is not a word I've ever had to spell before. I still feel embarrassed. Alright, so uh, I think once they get there, one thing that I'm big on is uh, a branching content and missable things. Uh, so, that means a lot of talking. <laughs> uh, now the other thing is that... It's fine, I can put that in this scene. Which you'll notice isn't here. Click OK on that. Come over here. Now it's all there. Anyway. Uh, uh, one thing that I am going to have for this, actually, uh, is that if you have uh, helped out Victor by telling Katarina that her caravan was hit by raiders, uh, she's, she's not going to pay you for this job. She's going to send you off and uh, tell you that, you know, that things will be square with her if, uh, if you bug her off and... Uh, do this one without being paid. And you might be saying, well, how did how did she even know that, you know, there was, that you did that? And the answer is that she's uh, seen people around with alcohol. She knows she didn't sell it to them. Because uh, your police officer friends are not incredibly bright, and uh, they've decided that they should sell their alcohol. Their alcohol, Katarina's alcohol, in, uh, in the bay. Good plan, guys. Good plan. Anyway. Speaks to Raiders. Uh -oh. Kills Raiders. I don't really see a third option here. <laughs> I suppose you could convince the raiders to go, but my question about that is why? Possibly what we could have are uh, two different deals with the raiders, where in uh, you can bargain with them to either make their own alcohol and sell that to Katarina, or um, convince them to provide security for uh, the people who were there initially. Um, that sounds fine. Okay, so because I'm disorganized and terrible, let's click OK on that and go to Katarina's dialogue quest. Yay. Uh, let me see where this is. Seems, seems good. Um, this is the dialogue that starts her second quest, so what we need now... For the record, I'm pretty sure there is a much more efficient way of doing this, um, and this is probably an awful way of doing it. So if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I'm gonna make a quest mod, I'm gonna have uh, a centralized dialogue quest that will contain, like, all my quest starts and quest rewards and, you know, all these things. 
Um, I would recommend taking another look at that. Uh, I'm fairly sure that you can um, link to scenes in other quests, even if you do it through a papyrus fragment, which are these things. That would actually look a lot like this, but rather than being a quest, it would be a scene. Um, uh, and that would start the scene in the other quest. Um, the player wouldn't notice, because from a dialogue tree, it would just be like, you know, selecting an option and then more options appearing. Um, that's probably a better way of organizing things, and uh, in the future that is how I will be doing it. Um, for Malcolm's quests, for instance, I plan on doing it that way. Uh, unless I find out later that actually, no, that's a horrible idea. And then, you know, next Sunday I'll be like, don't, don't do that. Or I'll forget. <laughs> if I don't say anything and there's a, then Malcolm's quest looks like this, then, uh, never mind. <laughs> right, so, um, the other thing is, uh, with, uh, look at all these lines. <laughs> with my quests, I, uh, always initially write dialogue that I then inevitably change. And I'm just not happy with. Um, okay, so this should be. That should actually be the reward for. Air 2 reward. Good. Uh, okay. And you might be asking yourself why are you naming these phases? Uh, if you don't name the phases, you can't link to them. Which seems slightly redundant to me since you've already got, you know, phase 1, 2, 3, 4, but whatever. Start. Okay. Um, now, all of all of my instincts are screaming out to me to go and check these because these are broken at the moment. Um, that that's not entirely true. You can still get to where you need to go uh, up to the second quest before um, odd things start coming. But that's fine. Um, now to hit OK, because uh, for whatever reason, scenes don't update in real time. So when you make a scene, or a phase rather, um, you can't then link to it immediately. You need to close your quest and open it back up. I don't know why that is, I just know that it is. Alright, so um, I guess we're actually going to be doing the dialogue for uh, after you bring this child back to the bay. I'm calling him a child. He's... I don't know. I don't know how old he is, but he's he's an adult, an adult now. He's like just past being a teenager. <laughs> Nebulously, you can decide when that is. Um, okay, so I always hate this because I'm like I can do all of this in one one box, as you can see in Action Three, which was the Quest of One reward, where basically all of these are just. Um, conditions depending on what you did with the uh, police officers in the caravan. <laughs> it's like, and now there are three other options that I need to put something in but don't have anything to say. <laughs> Ray. Um, so we're probably going to be looking at something similar here. Uh, although most likely you're probably uh, going to only have two responses. No, I suppose you'll have three. No, no, you'll, you'll only have two. <laughs> I don't... I don't think you'd share that you shamelessly murdered the person you were meant to bring back, but, uh... <laughs> um... I think... Hmm. I think what I kind of want to do is give uh, Katarina a Force Greet package, which will make her uh, speak to the player when they cross the threshold. Um, Cross the threshold. Yes, good. Well, when they come into the bar, there will be a, a trigger, a little activator type thing. Uh, and when they pass over that, we can have Katarina say, Oh, you brought that, brought that guy back. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I think that would be better. So in that case... <laughs> I wish I could say that normally my quest making is much more organized than this. But it's not. This is how it always goes, <laughs> invariably. So, uh, I don't need this, but I do still need Quest 3 start. Yeah, no. Yes? Yes, I do. I do in case the player says, I don't want to work for you just now. I have other things to do, like the Mechanist DLC. 
Okay, so in that case, we're gonna come over here. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna make a new scene. You might be thinking, you've only got... You might be thinking, scene is spelt with an S, not an A. Correct. You might be thinking, you've only got one scene, why is this scene 03? It's because this one's called scene 02, because initially, you know, as I've just demonstrated, my quest making is not very ordered. Um, initially, this was scene 02, this was scene 02, and I had a scene 01, which I got rid of. And, uh, apparently I can't be bothered just, you know, renaming them. The reason I'm not renaming them is I'm fairly sure they're being used by script things. Script things, good. I'm trying to think, do I need anyone else in here? I don't, know. Okay, good. Um, the other thing that I should check in my quest stage is... Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Alright. So if our quest stage is at three, that means that uh, we have convinced Theodore, that's, that's the, the guy's name, to come back with us. And uh, not, not run away from the bay. Not uh, bugger off like that. I don't even remember if I mentioned that he'd run away. <laughs> if I didn't, that's why you have to go find him. <laughs> All right. what's, what's my phase here? Uh, it's, the, it's the greeting phase. Uh, do I want to call it that? I'm going to call it choices of one, actually. Like in everything else. Uh, now, am I gonna need another phase? I don't think I am, actually. I think I just need this, and then we will link back to the dialogue. Quest via the means that I have mentioned previously. Alright. Uh, now, we need to give her a package, which is a force grade package. I should probably mention that I have not yet successfully managed to get a force greet package to work, so. <laughs> I think all of my quests have force greet packages that just don't work. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, oh, I clicked new instead of pad. Whoops. I have a sneaking suspicion it's to do with, um... I have a sneaking suspicion that it's to do with the, uh... I had forgotten that word for a moment there. Um, I, I have a feeling it's to do with the topic and the fact that while this value is at hello, uh, which I believe is the generic sort of greetings topic, it should really be doing something uh, specific to the bay. Um, I'm kind of wondering if one of these uh, would be one of my topics, but they're not because they all start with zero zero. Which means they're vanilla. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know my way around topics at the moment. But, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine later. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Greeting. Greeting is probably what I want there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Can you form? Yeah. I'll also change this one to be a greeting. Because I'm fairly sure. That uh, my first greeting topics, or my greeting topics that I have, are actually under there. Although I'm not 100% sure of them. It's fine. We'll find out. So, one thing that I'm thinking of doing uh, after I've gotten Katarina's first three quests, which will be her entire quest line, <laughs> she gets three quests. Everybody gets three. Um, after her quest line is sorted out, uh, I'm tempted to, possibly next Sunday, you know, ambitious, um, possibly I will play through those, uh, and then, you know, if you're not creation kit minded, uh, you can see what's going on and you can, you know, offer suggestions and, uh, opinions and all that good stuff. <laughs> all that good stuff that I'll then just, you know, blindly disagree with. That's not true. I'll, uh, I'll listen, I promise. 
I don't think I need to give this a name as far as I'm aware. Right, so now that we've got uh, this in here, uh, I think we need to add in some player dialogue. Now, hopefully, uh, what will happen is that the package will kick in, she'll talk to the player, and then these uh, options will appear. So for our first prompt, we're going to assume that our uh, quest stage is at three. So let's go to get stage. And put this to three. <laughs> for the record, um, if you're watching these streams looking to learn something, which, you know, bad move. If you are, these are probably going to be the ones with the most educational, I'm doing air quotes, content. Right, so if this is a three, then that means that the uh, NPC, our, uh, our person we were sent to retrieve, has followed us back and we haven't killed them like some sort of savage. Um, and uh, we can tell her that... Uh, back. Player now uses the role. This is also not what I'm going to say. That seems rather redundant. <laughs> uh, you know what we'll say? Uh... There we go. You might be thinking, what? what? What does Katerina say? Katerina will be saying something along the lines of, Oh, I see you brought our, our errant child person back. Good. <laughs> or she'll say something like, Where's Theodore? As you come back covered in blood. <laughs> you can say, ah, ah, crazy story. There was this crocodile, and uh, anyway. Response text. Good. Good. thing I want to uh, talk about a little bit. Didn't need to open that. Oh, what is... Ah, oh, that's under audio. Why is this under audio? <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, uh, as far as I can tell, these don't actually do anything. I've compared. Maybe it's to do with uh, custom NPCs or something. I don't know. As far as I can tell. Not doing much. Ugh. So, uh, I guess we'll do friendly, sure, even though it doesn't really do anything. Alright. Now, this is an interesting point where I'm not sure if I want to have, uh, Katarina being angry at you for selling her out. I want to put that in here, or if I want to put that uh, in the next quest. I think I'll put it in the next quest. I like the idea of uh, Katarina sort of approaching you with an open hand, being like, everything's fine. Because, um, you know, as the player, I'm sure you will have forgotten by now that Soldier Caravan. <laughs> um, and then she'll sort of spring that on you. She'll be like, well, guess what? You know, you're doing this for free. Fuck you. Um, that should be fine. Conditions. Uh, get stage. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's good. Get stage three. Wonderful. Okay. Um, now you might also be thinking, do you need to put that that condition in there since you've got it in here? And uh, I do, because not all of these these aren't linked. Um, they are responses to these topics, but you can have a few things in here and a few things in here. Uh, and even though these are the only two in here, they're not directly linked. If I put another response in here, uh, it wouldn't have one to do. I imagine it would pick one at random. Or it would pick one uh, if the conditions were met for it and the other one didn't have conditions. Uh, okay, so now let's do our response if, uh, for whatever reason, Theodore is not there. Either, you know, you've said to him, uh, I respect where you're coming from, and uh, you should go out into the wasteland. I don't think I went into detail about why Theodore has decided to run away. The short version is, the bay is an awful place. <laughs> it's truly terrible. Um, 
Yeah, so you you can accept that and you know tell him to run along like the little scamp that he is, uh, or you can drag him kicking and screaming back, or of course you can kill him because you know, why not? Um, so this prompt will be for if you have either let him go or killed him. Um, now I don't know if I want you to just outright lie and say that you couldn't find him. Um, Should we, should we do the little lie bracket thing? I always hate this, because I'm like, why can't I decide if my character's lying or not? Like, whenever there's a speech check and you're like, yes, I'll leave you alone, and then as soon as you pass it, you kill them. <laughs> that was a lie, even though the thing didn't say. Anyway, I'll take lie off. Um, uh, let's, let's just do this. Let's do this, and then I guarantee in, like, I don't know, I suppose, I, I hope to release this month, this month, hopefully, but, you know, don't hold me to that. Um, so, you know, a couple of weeks after it's out, uh, there there's gonna be, like, three or four comments, I'm calling it now, three or four comments where people have killed or let him go, uh, and then they'll see this. And one of two things will happen, they'll click it and just be like, okay, whatever, and then go on with the mod, and then they'll come and comment and be like, I thought it was weird that this was the line, and be like, that was a lie, you were lying there. Um, or, they will immediately not click anything, like close, close the, the conversation, close the game, uh, and then come and comment and say, I let Theodore go, but all I could say was that I couldn't find him, what's going on? I'm calling it. Uh, conditions here. Um, good stay. I don't know why I keep trying to do that instead of just typing it in. It's occurring to me that uh, I didn't really need to do um, anything past four. Have uh, a few stages, you see. Actually, no, that's not true. The reason that I have the other stage, I believe it's stage three, is uh, so that I can have the little kill Theodore quest quest marker pop up, which is always good. I want to put Psy in here. If any of you are interested in voice acting uh, any of these characters and you're thinking to yourself, I could voice act Katarina, she sounds like somebody I'd like to be, uh, I will ask you to sigh here. <laughs> Seriously though, if anyone watching is interested in voice acting in this mod, feel free to send me a message on the Nexus, or wherever else, I don't know, there are other places I'm sure. <laughs> Leave a comment, I don't care, it's fine. Uh... I, I want to now put well despite your recent failure, but then she's going to have repetition of well, and that's going to really irritate me, and it's going to sound weird, too. Um, which is why I want the sigh. I feel like I need something before I write. shorthand that is all one word or if I need to hyphenate it. I think I need to hyphenate it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I need some sort of uh, pause before despite. Uh, I don't know, you tell me. Should I have some sort of pause there? We'll leave it for now. Uh, if any of you can think of a good pause to have before that despite, 
feel free to leave a comment saying chat or whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say tweet me. <laughs> Just tweet me with a pause word. It'll be great. It'll be good fun. Um, I'm still looking for get stage. You know what the worst part about this is? I can actually copy these conditions. And for some reason, I have elected not to. It's not stage 3. Stage 3 is when you bring him back safe. I'm talking about the, uh, the stage where you're told to kill him. Um, so these are our, our two options for the uh, resolution of the quest. Um, I don't really want to put in another option for, you know, if you let him go or if you kill him. Um, I think that, you know, just lying to her and telling her you can find him is fine. Um, and now I am left with three dialogue boxes that don't apply to this situation. Thanks, Bethesda. I I'm not really angry about that. <laughs> this is why um, in the game you always get yes, sarcastic yes, no, and question. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Oh, you may also notice that uh, in the prompt box, in the response box, I'm typing the same thing. This is because I want you as the player to know what you're going to say before you say it. Uh, I don't agree with Bethesda's decision to put, like, two words in the prompt and then have you just go off and say something. Um, as a result, there's a mod you might need to get. I can't remember the name of it, but it changes how the dialogue is displayed. We'll see. I don't know. Ugh, negative, negative response. Shh. Whatever, man. <laughs> to be honest, I want to just make these questions that then loop back so that the positive response is the only one you can say. And the reason I want to do that is because I don't want to have eight possible prompts. Actually, I suppose it would be six. It would be seven, because the question will be the same thing. The question will be something like, why was this important again? <laughs> the question will be, why does the creation kit have four boxes that I have to fill in? <laughs> Alright, um... It's a quest resolution, I don't need four. Right. Let's see, um... Negative response. I, I seriously am gonna have the player say something like, Yeah, whatever. Like, come on. I think, uh, you know what, these are just gonna be questions, um... Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but, uh, Katarina is not somebody who is forthcoming with information. And, uh, if you, uh, do her questline, eventually she starts to tell you things, which she doesn't necessarily have to tell you. And that's how you know that you're earning her respect and her trust. So when she says, uh, fuck you, you know, you know, that you're not important. <laughs> She's not gonna say that. Um, go. That's why. Um, and you might think, you know, if you don't have the guy with you, maybe, you know, she can have some sort of negative response. Yeah, I, yeah, she could. She could have that. At this point, she doesn't mind telling you that because she feels that you're in it for the long haul. Um, even if you have failed to, uh, to bring in Theodore, um, you've still, you know, gone out and maybe helped with the caravan. <laughs> Or maybe not. <laughs> um, but anyway. Uh, now I need to think up two more questions. The problem is that now I'm just thinking of different ways to phrase this question. <laughs> Which is uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Um... 
you know what? Maybe we should have uh, a gougy kind of response. We can have a, give me more money. <laughs> I think we'll make it a hard speech check. Uh, it'll be, give me more money, and um, you won't say that. You'll say something along those lines. And if you don't have Theodore with you, you will just fail. Just, <laughs> she'll just be like, I'm not giving you any money. You didn't do what I was going to pay you to do. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's let's do that. Um, and we can all watch as I uh, forget how to do a speech challenge. And you might be thinking, really? That really? Yeah. Seriously. The other thing is that I've forgotten to uh, set up all my end dialogue screens and things. Actually, that's fine, because these are all meant to link back to the main dialogue tree anyway. This one, however, should be coming back here. Okay. So, first, conditions, new, stage. Now, I don't think I can actually force the uh, speech check to fail. Um, so what I'm gonna do if you succeed is, um, if you succeed and you've killed Theodore and let him go, um, Katarina will simply be like, you'll get the success and you'll get the XP, but she'll be like, no. N no. Oh, I also need to do the all-important. Get speech challenge success level. This implies that you can have... This also implies that it's not a 1 or a 0. It's it's a 1 or a 0. <laughs> so weird. Alright. Response text. Fair enough. 200. And that'll be it. I can't be bothered putting in a layered one. Layered ones, they're, uh, they're irritating. They're okay, they're not too bad. Um, and then we need to go back to this. Oh, excuse me. So um, this basically dictates where on the possible dialogue trees you go back to. So uh, this is just telling it to go back to this um, bit of dialogue. Oh, excuse me. I'm really going to need to go over her dialogue after I've written all of it and just sort of change things. I'm reading that and I already know it's not gonna stay. <laughs> we'll see. Then again, actually, uh, in with the uh, the caravan, there's another speech check for getting her to pay you more. And um, if you fail, she just she's tell you to fuck off. She's like, no. Oh. Okay, that's fine. In haste conditions. Now you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish you had remembered that earlier. I know I am. You. I've already forgotten what I was looking for, so uh, that's good. <laughs> okay. Alright, and now that we've done that, we'll go and get our uh, reactions if you don't have Theodore with you. This, this is also maybe too harsh. Then again... I think I'm gonna find that accidentally, whenever you fuck up, I've written her to be brutal. 
<laughs> so, that's fine. Now, here's something that I want to do. Actually, I may not need to specify a uh, speech challenge success level for this to pop up, uh, which is fine. Oh good, I've... Oh. Nice, that should be fine. Uh, and now another question. Yes! So good. Uh, you can think of a relevant question to ask here in this quest that I've probably not really explained all that well. <laughs> what <we> to say? <laughs> uh... You know what? I think we can. I think we should ask a fairly pertinent question, perhaps the most obvious question um, that did not occur to me and really should have, which is. Um... That's it, that's her entire response. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I want her to say. Now watch as I can't quite remember the word that I want to remember. It's uh, glorified. There we go. This is where I remember that I'm taking too many liberties. There we go. This line may be taken out. Not sure how I feel about that one. I feel like it's laying it on too thick, but let's see. Alright, and now this is meant to loop back. You might be thinking, you know, why is it that this is here instead of, you know, just during Katarina's normal rotation of dialogue when you have the quest? And the answer is it'll probably be there too. Okay. Also, uh, I don't know if anyone's noticed this. I'm glad that the OK button is here where I can't click it. <laughs> so that's good. It's a good one. Alright, so now. Oh, did I forget to link this? I think I did. I think this one's fine. Yeah. Okay. So now this dialog tree ought to be fine. All of these will loop back to this tree, and then these will go on to the uh, start quest phase that we made in uh, Katarina's dialog quest. That one. Good. Um, if I were doing this more sensibly, I would probably make another scene. Uh, or another, just another phase where she starts that off. But, uh... It's, uh, that's rather not happening, usually. Now... There we go. That's... That's what I was looking for. I'm fairly sure I can't extend this over here, even though I want to, or move it over here, but cool. Um, so, this is why I suspect that it's under greeting somewhere. Katarina, greeting, quest, or two. There's no reason for me to do that. I've already got it here. Okay. Does that correspond with all of these? Uh, 
I guess it does. Great. You might say it doesn't doesn't make sense for this one. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll work out. I promise. Okay. Conditions. These conditions. Close three. Oh, I also need to give her an ID check, which you used to do, have to do all the time, but uh, now you just need to do it sometimes, rather randomly, independently. It's a bit odd. set up rather it's set up differently to this which is weirding me out a bit um, I was expecting to see both of them there but oh well Thank you. still haven't colored that in Really should have given her. I should have made her surname something beginning with A. I should have made her Katarina Atkins. Oh well. You know, you live and you learn. Okay. So, uh, good. I think I'm gonna end the stream here so that I can go and bug fix uh, my second quest um, and finish off the third one. Uh, to reiterate the third one, I think, you know, Katarina's gonna send you out to uh, go and clear out some sort of... I, I, I don't wanna... I wanna call it a homemade distillery, like a, a home distillery type thing, uh, where she is having special alcohol made for her. Um, and you can solve that quest in a number of ways, and when you're sent out on the quest, you may not get paid at the end of it if you decided to uh, fight Katarina over in the first quest. Um, if anyone has any suggestions or thoughts or opinions about any of that, um, or if anybody would like me to more clearly explain anything, because I have a sneaking suspicion that because all of this makes sense to me, I'm terrible at relaying it to other people. Um, so, you know, any of those things, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, the main reason that I'm streaming these is to get uh, your input as a mod user uh, before the mod is released. Um, I think that's a really interesting idea. And, um, you know, things will be made to be more clear next Sunday um, because I will show off these quests in game rather than doing the CK. And I think that'll make things a lot clearer. Right, so. Um, I think that's about it, so I guess I'll, I'll do that thing where I end the stream. Um, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed watching this, uh, please feel free to come back and watch some more. Um, I have a YouTube account and a Twitter account, both of which I will announce when I'm streaming five minutes before I go live. So if you'd like to catch these live and you'd like to make suggestions and observations, uh, throw your opinions out there, you know, all of that, uh, you can do that while I'm streaming. Um, I stream from Wednesdays to Sundays. Uh, from Wednesday to Saturday, uh, I'm streaming Numenera. Uh, Tides of Torment, Numenera. Landscape, something. I, just, I don't remember the name of it. It's a fun game, though. Uh, if you want to watch that, feel free. And uh, on Sunday, it's streams like this, where we load up the creation kit and work a little bit more on the Bay of Sins until that's released and then work on a different mod. Um, so yes, uh, thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.